Good evening, everybody, or however you want to say it. It's... I have no idea what time it is. Oh, there. 3.32. <laughs> it's 3.32 in the morning. Okay. I'm going to do a random book drawing out of my Halloween bucket. Okay. A Court of Thorn and Roses. That's the Sarah book, I think. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, A Court of Thorn and Roses. Sarah J. Moss. Okay, this is the book that Renee, I forgot what her name was, that I watched on YouTube. I haven't watched her in a while. She had this book and she said that it was good. So I saw it at Barnes and Noble and I bought it. Okay, so I read chapter one. All right, and I'll read the my bookmark that I made. I made a bookmark. I think this is from The Power of Positivity on Pinterest. It says, don't allow silly drama to stress you out. Breathe and let go. Okay, chapter two. I'm gonna have to watch my time here. The sun had set by the time I exited the forest, my knees shaking, my hands stiff from clenching the legs of the deer had gone utterly numb miles ago. Not even the carcass could ward off the deepening chill. The world was awash in hues of dark blue, interrupted only by shafts of butterfly light, or buttery light, escaping from the shuttered windows of our dilapidated cottage. It was like striding through a living painting, a fleeting moment of stillness, the blues swiftly shifting to solid darkness. As I trudged up the path, each step fueled only by near dizzying hunger, my sister's voices fluttered out to meet me. I didn't need to discern their words to know they most likely were chattering about some young man or the ribbons they'd spotted in the village when they should have been chopping wood, but I smiled a bit nonetheless. I kicked my boots against the stone door frame, knocking the snow from them. Bits of ice came free from the gray stones of the cottage, revealing the faded ward markings etched around the threshold. My father had once convinced a passing Charlton to trade the engravings against fairy harm in exchange for one of his wood carvings. There was so little that my father was ever able to do for us that I hadn't possessed the heart to 
tell him that the engravings were useless and undoubtedly fake. Mortals didn't possess magic, didn't possess any of the superior strength and speed of the fairies or high fae. The man claiming some high fae blood in his ancestry had just carved the world the whorls and squirrels and ruins or runs around the door and windows muttered a few nonsense words and ambled on his way. I yanked open the wood door, the frozen iron handle biting my skin like an asp. Heat and light blinded me as I slipped inside. Fire! Elaine's soft gasp scraped past my ears and I blinked back the brightness of the fire to find my second eldest sister before me. Though she was bundled in a threadbare blanket, her gold brown hair, the hair all three of us had, was coiled perfectly about her head. Eight years of poverty hadn't stripped from her the desire to look lovely. Where did you get that? The undercurrent of hunger honed her words into a sharpness that had become too common in recent weeks. No mention of the blood on me. I'd long since given up hope of them actually noticing whether I came back from the woods every evening. At least until they got hungry again. But then again, my mother hadn't made them swear anything when they stood beside her deathbed. I took a calming breath as I slung the dough off my shoulders. She hit the wooden table with a thud, rattling a ceramic cup on its other end. Where do you think I got it? My voice had turned hoarse, each word burning as it came out. My father and Nesta still silently warmed their hands by the hearth, my eldest sister ignoring him, as usual. I peeled the wolf pelt from the doe's body, and after removing my boots and setting them by the door, I turned to Elaine. Her brown eyes, my father's eyes, remained pinned on the doe. Will it take you long to clean it? Me, not her, not the others. I'd never once seen their hands sticky with blood and fur. I'd only learned to prepare and harvest my kills thanks to the instruction of others. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.